Houston Station on Space to Ground. And liftoff of Kate Rubens, Anatoly Ammunition, and Takuya Onishi to the International Space Station. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Gary Jordan. The International Space Station is about to be home to three more crew members. Kate Rubens, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Takuya Onishi launched from Baikonur, Kazakhstan and are now on a two-day trip to the station. This is a bit longer than the usual six-hour trip that more recent Soyuz travelers have been taking, but the extra time is needed to test a variety of systems that have been upgraded in the modified Soyuz spacecraft, like thrusters, debris shielding, power, and digital video. The three additional crew members bring the space station's population back up to six. Two crew members are pilots by trade, Ivanishin, who has flown to the space station once before on Expedition 2930, and Onishi, who is now on his first space flight. Rubens will be the scientist for Expedition 48, holding a bachelor's degree in molecular biology and a PhD in cancer biology. Right after our nation's Independence Day, Jeff Williams set up an experiment on the International Space Station to study nature's fireworks. The meteor experiment will be studying the physical and chemical composition of the celestial rocks using visible spectroscopy equipment. Meteor spectra are commonly observed from instruments on the ground or on aircraft, but the measurements are limited to short durations, and the ozone masks emission of carbon-based compounds, the building blocks of life. Meteor is able to provide continuous monitoring of meteor interaction and will be able to analyze carbon without ozone absorption. This experiment will make the first space-based observations of meteors and provide high-resolution photo and video of the atmosphere. The more we know about meteor composition, the more we understand how planets develop. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.